Hey, get out of here. What's up? What up, dude? <laughs> How this, you is doing? The, this is the tour of the Toadmobile. Yes, sir. It's going to be pretty sick. The next up in this Newberry Park High School distance. Uh, juggernaut out there. On the outside, they got the well, they got the help us out with gas because this thing's expensive to drive. It's been $3,000 with gas so far this summer. Um, yeah, so we wrote that on there and we've actually got some cool people come up to us and hand us cash and a lot of yeah. people Venmo us and then they wave as yeah. they drive by. It's kind That's of cool. Awesome. That's really yeah. cool. So it, it's kind of weird, but it worked. We saw it on TikTok. And then we got the toad. So we were going to wrap it. It was like 10 grand to wrap the whole entire thing. So we just tried to do these stickers. They're kind of simple and to the point, but big enough to maybe catch someone's eye. Basically, we put this on for the mustache mile. My boy, Craig Engels, he invited me to uh, come up and pace. I am not in shape at all. <laughs> we saw that. Yeah, they yeah. did. Um, it's very ugly, it kind of ruins the whole side of this car because, yikes, his face. <laughs> I was trying to get a custom plate, whether it should be called like, uh, we had like ear, we had like just the, the toad or da toad and like uh, a bunch of different things, but that was going to take five months to get. So if you see this right here, this cut out. Oh shoot. It comes out three feet. And it makes so much extra space. It doesn't seem like a lot, yeah, but yeah. it would probably come out to the wall for sure. You ever do that? Uh, yeah, when we're not parked on a hill and when we're uh, gonna be somewhere for more than one day. So if you had a, a little bit more straight or if I parked on another side, we probably would have done that and just kept it here. All right, you guys ready for the inside or what? Right here, this whole section will push out three foot. Like That's you can awesome. even see there's a mirror back here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that whole wall is, is, is exposed, That's which so is nice. cool. And uh, like you said, this is nice because boom, this is Carson's bed too, by the way. That's okay. where he sleeps. But this right here is a nice little cup holder. It can hold some stuff. You can sit there. It's really nice when this is open. You can watch yeah. the sunset or just like relax when there's people sitting here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so like I said, it's Carson's bed. We'll go here. Pull this out. Oh, so that's there. Easy. There you go. I um, like these mirrors. It makes it feel a little bigger. The mirrors make it feel bigger. And the big, there's actually a lot of room for clothes in here. So oh, we kind of do like oh, that's deep. mine and Carson's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, side. I'm guessing you could probably tell which ones are mine and which ones are Carson's. Yeah. He's got more of the cool clothes. I got more of the crazy stuff. Like, yeah. got my hippie nice. sweatshirt. Got here we go from Luis Grijalva. Luis, Luis G baby gave us an NAU shirt there. Uh, here we got our refrigerator. We didn't know how to use this the first time either, so we literally let all the food go back. So we didn't turn the right thing on. Um, uh, turkey, we got Chobani's, big Chobani fan, we got pasta <laughs> sauce, we got a couple burgers for the boys, and uh, Carson loves this film, so he puts his Polaroid and oh, other like stuff <laughs> in, in these so it keeps it ready to go. Um, it's a good size freezer. Right? Ice and the cream? freezers? No, we have nothing good in there. Brussels sprouts only. Oh, man. <laughs> Losers! It's like you packed it just to say that. <laughs> this is just for you guys. Yeah, mom, I swear I'm eating my vegetables. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> um, This has microwave. This has a stove, so you can just, let's see if I blow anything up here. Boom. Ooh. It's on just like that. It gets so hot in here so fast. Yeah. Um, and then it even has an oven. Like, can you believe that? Oven. Even has a little nice. oven in there. I like we that. have not used that yet. Yeah, but it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. This room is supposed to be the bathroom. It's a big bathroom for RVs, but we don't use it. <laughs> we got Planet Fitness membership. That's kind of where we use, and we go to the restaurants. So we use it as a closet for all our stinky stuff. Be careful. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, we're dying in here from the smell. <laughs> it's got laundry. It's got all our running shoes. It's got our garbage can. And then in the shower is actually like a table and some chairs. So here's the driver. Carson's normally back here editing or sleeping. So we had, we bought a little little guest. It's our watermelon. Watermelon's my favorite food. You should draw a face on it. Yeah, we should draw a face on it or we should eat it soon because we had it for like a week. So it's probably yeah. gonna go bad. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we did get an aux and we got a thing that plugs into the radio. Okay. But before we did that, I went and bought Kenny Chesney. Got Fleetwood Mac, I'm old school. My dad got me into all this, the Beatles, <laughs> Now Country, Taylor Swift, that's my girl right there. Oh, Love you her for talk to Morgan. Oh, we got to talk to Morgan. Bruce Springsteen, and then this one was with the car. It came with the car, I guess, Maroon 5. But that's what we listen to. We yam on those. Bunch of classics. Um, last thing we'll talk about and then we'll ask questions is uh, this is where all the magic happens. Oh yeah. Psych. But this is my bed. It's a queen bed up here. It's actually mad comfy, but when I'm laying down, I can literally only put my arms up. Like my fingers will touch like this. 
little nifty things like this are the things yeah. that make a huge difference when you have an RV. You don't have a light, you have no power, your phones yeah. are dead. So this, you can check, let's see how low everything is since, but she's not doing too good right now. Jeez, this video's gonna be a wreck. What do you guys think, man? Could you live in an RV? Everyone says they can, but we're gonna ask some questions, I think, next to really fur fully understand how crazy it is to live in a 10 foot by, I don't know, 20 foot spot. <laughs> You guys saw the inside of the RV, you saw the outside, you saw the beauties of it and the struggles of it. So now we're gonna figure out a few things about it. Uh, what, what, is, what is the toughest part about living at an, an RV if you had to pick one thing? It's when you don't expect the power to run out or, the, or like the generator not to work. These are old, so there's things yeah. that kind of always break that you don't plan for them to break, yeah, right? Yeah. Like if you have a nice new house or a nice new car, there's like guarantees, <laughs> warranties, all kind of stuff. Yeah. Here. This is from 2004, it's literally older than you guys. So I think it's just when stuff stops working and it always stops in the worst times. Yeah. The middle of the night, right when you're about to leave, right when you're about to shoot. Oh, so uh, yeah. that's probably the toughest thing is just like the unexpected yeah. breaking, break things breaking. Yeah. yeah. When, you, when you were my age, 16, um, did you ever expect that you'd get to travel around in an RV like this with a photo of Craig Angles? <laughs> <laughs> so in high school, no, I didn't think I would. Um, I was, I probably thought, I lived by a lake, so I probably thought I was gonna live on a boat or something. I'm definitely a strange guy, and I like to do a little things differently and have the freedom to do kind of things, which an RV provides. Yeah. But no, I never thought about it until after college, actually. Craig wanted to buy a bus, and, and he wanted to flip it, and he wanted yeah. me to make content and him run, and he was gonna live in the bus, we were gonna live at Oxford. Yeah. Like, he had a whole plan. Sounds and awesome. then um, Nike called him and wanted him to join Pretty Elite Group, so he was like, yeah. I gotta take this up. But yeah. that was, so yeah, in college, I guess maybe I thought about it, but it was kind of like a dream that I was too scared to take the leap to do. Yeah. But now I finally did and it's scary, but cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to drive. I haven't let Carson drive it yet um, because I spent all my money on this and like, you know, what they call it is like the dinosaur tail. Yeah. So in a normal car, you know, it only goes like two foot after the tire. Oh, this one has a good five foot, right? So when you turn, you know, dinosaurs have a tail and when they turn this way, They'll smack the <laughs> other getting, side, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, holes on the other side. None of them are from me, but the previous owner had one or two little marks up on there from hitting the side of it. Like when you're at a gas station and you pull out, you hit the Ooh. other side. Yeah. So it's, that's kind of a weird thing. But um, yeah. Do you think you could be a pro runner and, and live in this full time? You? I think I'd love to. I mean, I don't know about this. Maybe build out a van like that or something. I'd love to do that. You know, drive wherever you want, park wherever you want. It's pretty Going cool. for a long run. You're there, you're sleeping in the morning, everyone's showing up, but you're already there. I don't know, it'd be cool. We drove, we drove the fort in 96 hours, we drove 2,661 miles, because okay. uh, we wanted to get to the trials, yeah, yeah. that was our first thing, and uh, it was insane. I drove 10 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, Yeah. and I would, it was, don't do that. <laughs> if you want to buy one of these, enjoy the country, take your time, go to see Rouse, drive like five hours, eight hours yeah. a day, and, uh, explore it yeah if there's any more okay so he just said it too but if there's any any questions about this thing or if you think you could do it make sure to comment below we love we love seeing the comments it's fun to reply to um, I think that's about it for the video make sure you guys are checking out the toad tour 2020 they're doing some really fun videos of us up here and you can see the wonderful video of where they rescued the drone which we'll have a memorial for her because unfortunately the drone passed away today when we were on the lake it's it's making him cry but he's gonna get over it it's okay and yeah, it'll be a really nice video and you can donate to the GoFundMe. And then, there you go. Love yeah, you guys. that's about it. So yeah. like, subscribe, and Check comment us out. you're feeling. Yeah. Check us out, Billy Toad. Yeah. And then also keep repping these guys. They're gonna mm -hmm. kill it, man. I, we watched the premiere earlier today. It was incredible. These guys are gonna blow up, but it's up to you to help them out. So hit that subscribe, turn on that notification, and let's rip it for Richie, baby. All right. You're, you're.